welcome back to another video. We're gonna test out what my zero to 60 times are on my Model 3. It is a 2018 with 45,000 miles, so we'll see if it um, has slowed down over time or not. So my Model 3 has the 19 inch wheels from the factory. And actually when I bought the car, the zero to 60 was 4.4 seconds. And then I bought the boost upgrade, which came out last year. Uh, it cost $2,000 and it brought down the zero to 60 from 4.4 to about 3.8, 3.9. All I had to do was log into the app purchase the upgrade and it downloaded to the car two hours later and we'll be recording the zero to 60 times with the draggy GPS here which is magnetized and you can put it wherever on the car I got a link for that down below make sure you check it out it's a good device but let's get to it the Tesla Model 3 has two driving modes, chill and sport. And when you put in chill, you can see chill appears above the speedometer. And I'm gonna run uh, draggy times uh, for both of these modes. So I'm gonna turn up the AC all the way. Turn all the seat heaters on. And we got 94% battery. Now we're just gonna do a normal run with uh, the AC. Let's turn it off and no seat heaters on. Here we go. 30, 60. So after running multiple tests, um, the Tesla has held up to the same speeds as when I first purchased it. There's a link above right here from an older YouTube video. So as you can see there, the chill mode, you're at about seven and a half seconds to 60, whereas in the sport mode, you're about 3.8 seconds. And trust me, the 3.8 seconds, I mean, that is fast. With the instant acceleration, it's something that I've never felt before uh, in owning a car, and it's, it's just instant. Um, the chill mode, I never drive in the chill mode. I think this is more if you're trying to save battery around town and just not to be as aggressive on the accelerator, which it's hard not to because the amount of torque it has is just so addicting. You want to do it around every single turn. Either way, this car is insanely fast. Um, and if you want more speed, go ahead and get the performance, which I wish I did. Um, but for now, I mean, this is plenty fast. And if speed's not important to you, the standard range plus, it's just real wheel drive. Um, that's zero to 16, 5.3 seconds. To help put these times in the perspective, a 2020 Ford Mustang GT does 0 to 60 in about 4.2 seconds, and that's with a perfect launch if there's no wheel spin. Whereas with the Tesla here, it's all wheel drive and never had a bad launch. You just hit that gas and it's off. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you liked the video and found it helpful, please be sure to subscribe and like the video and comment below any questions you have about Tesla in general or my car. Be sure to get it answered. Thanks, we'll see you next video.